2 lakh people have been laid off from their jobs since the last year is this the day to shop and think or is this just the day to think welcome to the second episode of the thinking shopper and today let's just reserve it for the thinking part of it Hello I'm Ashima and welcome to my vlog where we talk about everything that matters. The big tech companies have laid off their employees and so has a big retail giant. What is it that is leading to the laying off of employees across the world? Let's explore that in this episode and much more. The feelers of a looming recession started coming in in the mid of 2022 just as the world started emerging from a very gloomy pandemic era. Oh wait 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 let's have a quick back story first So during the pandemic interest rates were very low very affordable As a result borrowing increased investments flowed in and most importantly cash became trash Every penny that you had in the bank had to be invested That's another thing I never had much Anyways in this era IT companies expanded hired left right and center even when they needed or did not need people cut to 2022 again and then the honeymoon period got over interest rates increased and cash earned its value back because it was so limited but amidst all the conundrum it was employees who had to bear the brunt of all the miscalculations now remember all the big names that have laid off or are planning to lay off employees be it meta alphabet amazon groupon zoom sprinkler twilio github yahoo Dell, Get Around, Pinterest, Rivian, Impossible Food, PayPal, Arrival, Spotify, Fandom, Career Karma. Okay, let's take a pause. So where was I? Yeah, the big companies laying off people. You know, they had access to the best of the talent who would tell them that. Hey boss don't hire more people because you don't need so many or you know the times are going to be bad just don't overspend but that's the lure of money 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 it can suck in like a black hole everything in did it pull me in too told ya i don't have much anyway okay so a warning about the impending recession and money problems also came from jeff bezos executive chairman of amazon Last year when in an interview he strongly suggested that consumers and small businesses put off their big ticket expenses but as for companies maybe it was too late to act on any advice even if issued guess a part of the council was also for the amazon's own employees the retail joint probably will ask the maximum number of employees at 18000 as clouds of recession has started looming over the corporate world getting laid off can feel like a singling out experience why me of all the people even when you know there are others like you but experiences that have made it to the headlines in this laying off season are that of how employees were conveyed about their out of job status A particular tweet by Jeremy Jocelyn who was laid off by Google like thousands of other colleagues went viral and it had to it garnered around 6.3 million views and a massive 42000 likes Jeremy tweeted that he was informed about his layoff via an email so like what's the big deal big companies do that all the time and in fact they're at a liberty to do so right You see they can't take the risk of employee retaliation and hence shut them out of their systems and stop their access to logins. Wait wait hold on. You know Jeremy's case is a little different. You really cannot justify the corporate work tactic in this particular case. After all, he was at Google for 20 long long years. As Lingo set up a chain reaction with so many companies cutting down on their work strength. So did the sharing of wonderful corresponding stories and experiences of those directly affected. Some like Jeremy shared the news on Twitter. His colleague Philip Barros, a vendor manager, shared the unfortunate reality on LinkedIn. He has been at Google for 13 years. But the social media platform that brought together people who suffered at the hand of the recession and nurtured a community is TikTok. On TikTok, there are some heart-touching stories. 
stories of dejection stories of resilience stories of experiences at the big companies and how it feels to now be out of those some stories teach you how to restructure your budget after the job loss some how people are finding a positive change amidst all the negativity take for example a tiktoker who was recently laid off from her job she says she now has more time for self care and her exercise routine is more regimented also what these tiktok stories have in particular done is they have stomped the stigma attached with being unemployed or getting laid off by the companies Alejandra Hernandez, a former employee of Meta who was laid off in November along with other 11,000 employees, has made a very important point in in her documentation on employment on TikTok, and that is that she's in, she's encouraging people to recognize that it is not their fault if they are being laid off. It's not people who are at fault, but maybe it's the big companies who never knew how to make sure that they hired the right amount of people. Now, as laying off of employees continues to make the right adjustments in the balance sheets of companies, don't you want to know if the salaries of the CEOs are also being affected? Well, they are not immune to recession, not any more at least, owing to the pressure exerted by the shareholders. Okay, just to name a few, Sundar Pichai of Google, Tim Cook of Apple are among the big names who have taken a pay cut. We really hope the gesture is more than a mere token. You'll laugh. Um, no, I think you'll be surprised. Uh, actually, you could be even shocked to know the bizarre figures that CEOs take home. I'm not saying they don't deserve it, not by any means, but I'm just trying to make sense of the whole cost-cutting measures. It is reported that JP Morgan CEO last year took home 1.5 million dollar as base salary plus 33 million dollars as bonus plus 50 million dollars additional compensation what do they call it a special award this year's austerity measure would be giving up the 15 million award the rest few will be in time On a serious note, Zoom CEO's gesture looks pretty impressive, at least on the face of it. Eric Yuan will be taking a 98% cut on his salary. But you know, I was just thinking about it. That why can't everyone at a big company like Google, where everyone is so well paid, can take a pay cut and get over these prices? So I did some research on it, and the answer to this is no. It's not a feasible option. Experts argue that it will send a wrong message across the board, and the best of the talent, which you really want to retain, might feel demotivated and start looking for options. That's between the devil and the deep sea. Now we really don't know where will it head from here. Will it get any worse or will it get better? But whatever it is. We can expect the corporations to be a little more empathetic. We can expect the corporations to give a good heads up to their employees before they are laid off, and the managers to announce the news with more compassion. I hope you like this episode of the Thinking Shopper, where we did offer some food for thought. See you next week with another episode and some more thinking and maybe even shopping. It's been a while now. <laughs>